and that doesn't match up perfectly. So aesthetically, this sucks. Okay, so today in this video, I'm going to demystify the difference between F-spaced guitars and pickups and G-spaced guitars and pickups. Guitar forums have completely ruined everything you need to know, and I'm gonna clear it up in this video. I'm also gonna show you two guitars in which I put the right pickup in and one that I screwed up, so you don't have to. All right, guys, this is the Axe, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Nick. I'm a guitarist here on YouTube. I answer some confusing questions about guitar and do some guitar review videos for you guys. As always, if you like the content, considering subscribing below, that would help me a lot and I would really appreciate it. So F-spaced and G-spaced, what the hell's the difference? You're either curious about how your guitar strings are spaced or you're probably on the market for a new pickup. So let's jump into this. So back when Gibson invented the humbucker, they had a certain distance between the middle of the low E string and the middle of the high E string. This was in and around 1.93 inches or 49 millimeters. So some say the name G spacing came from Gibson. Gibson, G, boom. Now the reason we even care about this particular string spacing is because we want the poles of the bridge pickup to be lined up with the strings. That means ideally, if you have a pickup with single poles, that we want the string to bisect equally right in the middle of the circle of the pole. There's wiggle room for that and that's okay, but we will get to that later in this video. Now onto F-spaced guitars or F-spaced pickups. You usually see this type of spacing on either Fender guitars or Floyd Rose trims or any type of kind of tremolo out there, usually. This spacing is a little bit wider at about 2.07 inches or 52.6 millimeters. I think it's highly debatable, but the F in F spaced either comes from Fender or Floyd Rose. If you know the answer, put it in the comments and help us all out. If you have any questions about the design of certain tremolos or licensed Floyd Rose, I have a video right here and the link will be in the description. So let's break this down Barney style. G spacing generally refers to the old style original Gibson guitars that have that closer spacing and the pickups that match that spacing. While the F spacing is a little wider for trims and Fender guitars. Now listen, these aren't hard and fast rules at all. They do make Gibson guitars that are F spaced. I haven't heard about it, but I'm sure they make tremolos that are also G spaced. So basically if a guitar is either G spaced or F spaced, it's a tendency, it's not a guarantee. Now some brands make this a little easier. Take for instance, Seymour Duncan. They let you know if you're getting a traditional spaced pickup or a widened pickup. They do this by calling their F spaced or wider spaced pickups trim buckers. Trim bucker. And it makes sense, right? Because if you're gonna replace a bridge pickup in something that has a Floyd Rose tremolo, you're gonna want something that is typically F-spaced. And so it's super easy. You have a trim, get a trim bucker. And usually Seymour Duncan in the serial number or model number puts TB in all their trim buckers rather than the original model number. So this is really cool when you're trying to buy something say on Amazon or a, another website that will probably steal your identity. So another thing to consider is that pickups say like Seymour Duncan blackouts or EMG you know, 81s and stuff like that that are covered and don't have exposed pull pieces, the F spacing and G spacing doesn't matter. And lastly, the G spacing and F spacing really only applies to the bridge pickup. I've never had to see uh, F spacing or G spacing come into the equation for replacing a neck pickup. So what does all this mean to you? Well, if you have a bridge pickup that has single poles you need to measure it. Now, a lot of companies don't call their F-spaced humbuckers trim buckers. And when you go online, they don't really tell you if they're F-spaced or G-spaced. And so here's how you do it. Grab your guitar, get a ruler, measuring tape, anything really. If there's already a bridge pickup in there in which the poles line up perfectly with the strings, go ahead and measure the pickup. You can do this by measuring the distance between the exact middle of the first pole and the exact middle of the last pole. Now, if there's no pickup in there or you just don't really know what to get, measure the string distance. Make sure you measure the string distance where the bridge pickup would be and measure that from the very middle of the low E string to the very middle of the high E string. Like I said, the F space and G space, the measurements between them can vary. There's no actual standard to these distances. So whatever you get, that's what you got. Now, let me show you on two of my guitars on what a proper matchup between the pickup and the strings look like and a well, not so good matchup, looks like. 
All right, so this guitar has it done correctly, and it's a good representation because there's a parallel axis distortion in there, and you can see where the uh, string kind of goes right through the poles, right? So look at that lineup. You see that? The strings are actually bisected by the double poles here, and when I bought this, this was a trim bucker. So because I have a double locking trim on this and I bought a Seymour Duncan pickup, all I had to do was look for the word trim bucker. I bought it without measuring and it lines up perfectly on the strings. Now this guitar represents a total screw up. So if you take a look here, you can see that the pickup poles are actually inside of the strings uh, on the low E string, high E string, and in fact some, some of the other ones too. And that doesn't match up perfectly. So aesthetically this sucks. So the pickup in the bridge is the Nazgul, and the neck is the Sentient from Seymour Duncan. Now when I bought these, I bought them in a pack of like a pair. And typically the pairs usually come with G-Space pickups. So if you have a Floyd Rose like this does, you'd have to be cognizant of that, like I wasn't. Now, does putting a G-Space pickup in an F-Space guitar or spacing mess with the sound? Typically, no. So a really simplified explanation on how pickups work is they use a magnetic field kind of in a football shape, and they kind of blanket over the strings to pick up the sounds. So if a pickup pole isn't directly under the string, it's still going to pick up the sound pretty good. Now, if you have a pickup pole that's completely off of the string, you might run into some problems. But in reality, the G-Spaced, F-Spaced mismatch is really just something about aesthetics unless you have a big discrepancy. All right, guys, I hope this helps you understand F spacing versus G spacing and that my screw ups uh, keep you from making your own. With that being said, I just want to truly thank you all for stopping by this channel. And if you would consider subscribing, I would really, 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 really appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time, later.